Travel Michigan. I'm Dave Lorenz along with Michelle Banash. And Michelle, we have time for one more conversation. And I am excited about this conversation because, as you know, the Newberry Paradise area is very close to my heart. And mm-hmm. so we are talking with Joe May Bomber, the director of the Newberry Chamber of Commerce. And Joe May, welcome to the show. And I've been going up to that area since before I was born. Um, mm-hmm. But I am just realizing now that Newberry is the official moose capital of Michigan. Is that true? Yes, it is. It was declared that um, quite a few years ago, and we do have moose around here and get lots of inquiries about them. <laughs> All the times I've been in Newberry, I've only seen moose tracks. I've never seen a real moose yet in that area. Well, they are there. They're not um, They're not wandering through the center of town, yeah, yeah. but we do have sightings every year. <laughs> yeah, that's great. You know, well, speaking of moose in Newberry, do you actually see them in wintertime at all? Do they come out of the kind of the swampy areas or what? Yes, they they like the colder air, um, colder weather. Mm-hmm. So you know they are out there, but it's, it's getting to the places where they're going to hang out. It's harder in the winter time. Yeah, because they're mostly so, going to be in that that wet uh, kind of swampy stuff, right? Yeah, probably more likely um, out in a snowmobile if, or mm-hmm. um, on a sled dog team, maybe. But <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that's great. Well, you know, that whole Newberry area really is beautiful. Why don't you, you know, for people who've never been to Newberry, why don't you tell us basically where you are and uh, what people can expect when they come there? Newberry is in the heart of the eastern upper peninsula of Michigan. We're um, north of M28 on M123, which is the Tequamon and Scenic Heritage Route, and um, three miles north of M28. And we have a, a nice small town atmosphere and friendly people, and it's just a beautiful place to, to live and work and to visit. It's a nice little downtown there in Newberry. Uh, of course, we have uh, just a very short time before Christmas, but if uh, we have listeners in that area, they might want to head to downtown Newberry for some very last-minute uh, shopping. Uh, any any recommendations that you oh, can give us? Definitely you want to stop by the UP Trading Company and Country Gallery, and, and she just opened a uh, furniture part of it called the Exclusive Moose. Oh, great. Some beautiful things. There is also inside Timber Charlie's. There is a a nice gift store inside there, which is a a local eating establishment that's pretty popular. I like that place. And also, um, if you are um, downtown, S&J Sports has sporting goods that you might want. And and we in Snyder's Drug Store and Foster's Ace Hardware has all sorts of gifts for the, the handyman and for the the woman of the house. So um, those are some of the places in downtown Newberry you might want to check out. And, you know, there are folks uh, downstate that may lament the coming of winter, but, I mean, in the UP, it's it's a big season, and, and there's a lot to do up there. Oh, we have something to do um, every weekend in the winter. There's, there's just always something going on, be- from winter carnivals to um, cross-country skiing and snowshoe trails to snowmobile races. Um, there's there's things going on all all winter long. And you guys get a lot of snow typically. Yes, we well we hope for snow yeah. every year. Right. <laughs> that is that is the ho- the hope. Um yeah, because we have a lot of outdoor events that we hold and and if you live up here you want to celebrate the outdoors because it's beautiful in the winter. It really is. Um well why don't why don't we get into some of, you know, the events that are are coming up in the near future in that uh, new Newberry to Quamon and Paradise region. Um, now, we should mention, uh, there are some of the attractions that people might typically think of, though, um, to visit that, that aren't open in the wintertime. Correct. Um, for instance, Oswald's Bear Ranch, mm-hmm. you know, their bears are all hibernating. Yeah. Um, and the, the um, Shipwreck Museum is not open in the winter. Yeah. But th- we have plenty of other things that are going on up sure. here. That, um, one of the big events that happens right after Christmas is the 14th Annual Taquaman Country Sled Dog Race which is going to have a new location this year up at Muscalange Lake State Park. Um, it's got a pro 12-dog and 8-dog teams and sport classes. It's a wonderful spectator event, and you can watch the dog teams come in and out. Um, and it's going to be a wonderful event on Saturday, January 5th. If you're around that weekend, you're going to want to go up to Muscalange Lake State Park and check that out. Um, that's it's a it's a really cool event in a in a new venue this year because of the Duck Lake fire but um oh yeah but it's going to be a wonderful event then we also have um some snowmobile races coming up in January 19th we have a new one called the King of the Airstrip 
which is a snowmobile drag race um, at the Luce County Airport. And then in February, we have um, on February 22nd and 23rd, we have the Great Lakes, um, um, it's the vintage snowmobile race. Oh, sure. And the vintage sleds are out, and it's a, it's, that's a lot of fun to go and watch, too, the Great Lakes Antique Snowmobile Series. Are, you know, with those antique snowmobile races, are, are these like professionals that travel all over, or are these people who just happen to have old sleds and want to go racing? There's um, I, there's a lot of people with old sleds that like to just go racing <laughs> that that come on out, um, and uh, there's probably some that take it more serious. There's some that take it definitely more seriously too. But mm-hmm. there, you have a variety. You have um, kids races on Friday afternoon, for instance, in two divisions, and then Saturday they did have different classes depending on the on the sled. So that's a that's a really f- fun event to go out and watch too. And then in Paradise too, they have. Um, a radar run um, and snowmobile races and um, so there's there, there's just a lot of things to go out and see um, as far as that goes and then we also have lots of for the quieter sports we have cross country skiing and snowshoe trails around here and um, at Sceney National Wildlife Refuge and at Canada Lakes Parkway and Tequamanon Falls State Park just um, lots of things for the, pe- the outdoor enthusiast that likes to get out and and get in the snow. Is um, is the Sini uh, Wildlife Refuge, is that a good place for cross-country skiing? I've never thought of that. Yes, yes. Um, they have um, all the, it, after the hunting season is over, all the um, roads are open for that, and they have, they do have groomed trails for cross-country skiing and snowshoes, and of course, you know, Taquamon Falls does too, and Taquamon Falls has some really interesting things. They have a lantern-lit ski and snowshoe mm-hmm. trails the four Saturdays in February from 6 to 8.30 in the evening. They put out lanterns, and you can go on a one-mile through the woods at night. It's beautiful, and it's very popular, and they have free snowshoe rentals um, as while supplies last. I was actually, uh, we were at uh, Tuquaman in, um last winter, and we actually shot some, some video segments that we're showing on Michigan.org of that uh, Tuquamanan Falls uh, Park at wintertime. It, it is beautiful. Never thought of going there in the wintertime. Oh, it's it's gorgeous, and the the falls themselves are just um, just a, a beautiful thing to see in the mm-hmm. winter too, with the icicles and you know, doesn't matter the time of year, the falls are gorgeous to see. And you mentioned um, the the sled dog event, but you're not too far away from nature's kennel where folks can actually kind of go experience that themselves, right? That's right. They are an, a wonderful, um, wonderful business we have up here. They, besides their Iditarod sled dog team, they have overnight and half day and full day adventures. You can learn how to m- drive your own sled, um, um, mush your own dog team Mm -hmm. and go out and it's it's just a wonderful wonderful thing to do if you've never done it it's something you should put on your bucket list because it's it's beautiful and the dogs are inspiring i actually own one of their former race dogs oh wow (laughs) so yeah they're it's a wonderful business nature's kennels in mcmillan michigan they do love to pull don't they oh they do they do and they're just that's what they're bred for, and they're great animals, and it's a beautiful way to experience the outdoors. Well, hey, thank you so much for filling us in on all those uh, fun things happening in wintertime up in the Newberry area. Of course, you do have uh, little time to uh, consider shopping that area with those unique uh, gift opportunities as well before uh, Christmas. So consider that. Newberry uh, in the wintertime, a good idea. Thank you, Joe May, uh, from the Newberry Chamber of Commerce, and for more information... All you have to do is go to newberrychamber.net. Well, that's all the time we have for today's program. We'd like to thank Mark Blackwell for engineering today's program. And on behalf of Michelle Benash and myself and George Zimmerman back at the office today, we'd like to thank you for joining us in today's program. And please join us next week right here on Travel Michigan, where your trip begins at michigan.org.